subatomic particle electron was discovered by the cathode ray discharge tube experiment. And the cathode ray tube is made up of a glass tube which has metal electrodes on either ends which is sealed inside that and one of the electrode is cathode and the other is anode. Cathode is a negatively charged electrode and anode is positively charged electrode. The glass tube was filled with inert gases like nitrogen or hydrogen. The electric discharge was observed at low pressure of the gases and at high applied voltages. During this electric discharge, electricity would flow by the stream of particles traveling from cathode to the anode. These stream of particles that move from negative electrode that is cathode to the positive electrode that is anode is the cathode rays. These cathode rays were invisible to the naked eyes and were identified by coating the glass tube behind anode with zinc sulfide. This zinc sulfide coating acts as a fluorescent material so that the spots will be formed when the cathode rays travel from cathode to the anode. These spots indicate that the particles were moving from cathode to the anode. From this experiment, it was concluded that cathode rays travel from cathode to the anode. In the absence of the electric as well as the magnetic field, these rays travel in straight line. We have studied that like charges attract each other and unlike charges repel each other. Based on this, we can tell that since these cathode rays are traveling from the negative cathode to the positive anode, we can tell that these cathode rays consist of negatively charged particles, hence they are named as electrons. Also, the properties of cathode rays were not dependent on the gas that is taken inside the glass tube. Later on, J.J. Thompson studied the deflection of cathode rays in the presence of electric and magnetic field as well as in the absence of electric and magnetic field. From this, he found out the charge to mass ratio of the electron and that came out to be 1.75 into 10 to the power 11 coulomb per kg. He also observed that the deflection was dependent on three factors. The first factor is that as you increase the magnetic and electric field, the deflection was also increasing. As lighter is the particle, heavier was the deflection. And when the magnitude of the charge increases, the deflection was also increased. From Millikan's oil drop experiment, it was found out that the charge of electron was minus 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb. So using the charge to mass ratio which was found by J.J. Thompson as well as the charge of electron which was found by Millikan, we can calculate mass of electron and after calculating that the value for mass of electron is given out to be 9.1 into 10 to the power minus 31 kg. The discovery of subatomic particle proton was done by Goldstein and he used modified cathode ray tube experiment for the discovery of protons. During the experiment, it was observed that the rays traveled from anode to the cathode and these rays were termed as canal rays. As these rays deviated towards the negative side of electric and magnetic field, it was considered that these rays consist of positively charged particles are called as protons. Unlike the cathode rays, these canal rays properties were dependent on the gas that is filled in the glass tube of the cathode ray and it was found that the charge to mass ratio was found to vary with the gases that is used in the tube. 
Later on, neutrons were discovered by Chadwick by bombarding a thin sheet of beryllium metal with alpha particles. The subatomic particle neutron was neutral and it has no charge.